This short video covers working with percentages. To make sure there's no conflict with any assignments or assessments you may be asked to do, the examples are not IT based, but the principles are exactly the same. First, we're going to calculate a simple percentage. 500 people were surveyed about their spending over the holidays. 43 said they owed nothing. 121 said they owed between 200 and 400 pounds. 89 said they owed more than 400 pounds, and the rest declined to answer. How many people are we sure owe at least 200 pounds? We need to add together the people who owe between 200 and 400 and those who owe more than 400. That comes to 210 people. I've left the information there in case you need to refer back to it. Now we need to work out what percentage those 210 people are of the 500 people who were surveyed. To do this, we divide 210 by 500, then multiply by 100, which gives us 42%. We've worked out that 210 people owe at least £200, and that that is 42% of the number surveyed but some of those people didn't answer the question. What percentage of those who did owe at least £200? To work this out, we still use our 210 people who owe over £200, but this time we divide it by the total number of people who answered the question. 253 people answered the question. Dividing 210 by 253 gives us 0 0.830. If we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, we end up with 83%. We have ended up with two different numbers. We know that 210 people owe at least £200, but that is 42% of the number surveyed and 83% of the people who answered the question. A huge difference. You have to know what you're measuring. Now we want to know if our numbers are better or worse than last year. Last year, 376 people answered this particular question. What is that as a percentage change? We use the formula new value minus old value to work out the difference and divide it by the old value. In this case, it's 253 minus 376 divided by 376. This gives us minus 123 over 376, which is OK because this is a decrease. Fewer people answered this year than last year. Working this out to three significant figures gives us 0 0.327. This means 32.7% fewer people answered the question this year than last year. OK, so now we know how many more people answered the question last year than this year. We now want to work out how big the change is between the percentage of people owing over £200 last year and the percentage owing over £200 this year, based on the number of people who answered the question. This year, 83% of the people who answered owe more than £200. Last year, 62% of the people who answered owed more than £200. It's an increase, but how big? This year, 83% of the people who answered the question owe more than £200. Last year, it was only 62%. We need to work out the difference, and to do that, we simply take one number away from the other. 83% minus 62% equals 21%. An extra 21% of the people surveyed owe more than £200 this year compared with last year. That is an increase of 21 percentage points. We have already worked out that there has been an increase of 21 percentage points in the number of people who answered and who owe more than £200 this year compared to last year. We can look at this difference in another way, working it out as a percentage increase. We use the same formula as before, taking the old value from the new value to give us the increase, 
and dividing it by the old value to give us the percentage change. This works out at 0.339 to 3 significant figures. Multiplying by 100 to get a percentage, that is a 33.9% increase, or over a third as much again. That has given us two very different answers. The number of people owing more than £200 has either increased by 21 percentage points or increased by 33.9%. If you're struggling to understand the difference between a percentage change and percentage points, consider this scenario. Inflation is currently running at 0.5%. This time last year, it was roughly 1%. It has halved. If something is half of what it was, it has decreased by 50%. But that does not mean it has gone to minus 49% taking 50 away from 1, it has just dropped by half a percentage point.